today's episode, we're going to talk about biscuits. Ah, <laughs> uh, so cute. Okay. Alright everybody, hello and welcome to the show. So today, I would like to give a shout out to Luke. Luke, thank you so much. He has sent me something very interesting. This is Preschia aculeata. I've had one other Preschia fruit in the past, and that was Preschia bleo, otherwise known as the rose cactus, which I found when I was in Jamaica. So this is the same genus, different species. Uh, it's sometimes actually called rose cactus fruit as well. I believe that's because Preschia uh, plants in general are called rose cactuses. These are cactuses, but they're a very odd cactus because cactuses are almost always succulent. Pereskias are more like shrubs. They, I think they technically can be uh, classified as a shrub, which is really interesting because like really, I think it's the only genus of cactus that is like that. Cactuses evolved from a shrub-like cactus ancestor, and the Pereskia is probably the most similar to that ancestor. So when you eat this, you're kind of getting like a, like a closer taste to what the cactuses evolved from. Another interesting thing about these is that they are invasive, and they're very difficult to kill. But you can eat them, so although they are invasive, at least they do have a silver lining. One more cool thing is that leaves will actually grow out of the fruit. On this one uh, that I've been showing you, it's hard to tell because I think they fell off, but uh, this one still has them on it. The leaves come straight out of the fruit, right out of the flesh of the fruit, which is very, very odd. Oh, that's interesting. It's got some like very dark black seeds to it. It's not like the rose cactus that I had before. That one was like painfully sour. This one is sour, but uh, not that bad. It's probably like on par with an orange as far as far as sourness goes. It's not sweet though. Maybe like very slightly, it's maybe like a one out of 10 on sweetness. Okay, so if I'm gonna break this down, I've got a little bit of like a cucumber kind of flavor, a little bit of a prickly pear kind of flavor, a little bit of like a vegetable kind of taste. It's savory tasting. Somewhere in the line of uh, maybe a little bit like tomato, but not really. It's got like the savoriness of a tomato without like a very strong tomato taste, if that makes any sense at all. A little bit like a beany kind of taste, like a green bean kind of flavor. And a little bit like maybe like apricot. A little bit like carrot. There's a lot of stuff going on there. We've got fruits, we've got vegetables, we've got cactuses, we've got all sorts of stuff going on. I think that would be really good in fruit applications that are usually used in savory things. You know, like uh, like a mango salsa. You know, if you were to put that into a salsa instead of mangoes, it would be really good. It would be a little bit more savory, but it would kind of give you like a certain, like a similar kind of uh, taste. So I like that. I think that if I had uh, one of these growing in my yard, maybe it was invading my property, I would not have such a big problem with that. I would pick them and I would eat them. That's what I would do. Um, I can't say that about a lot of different invasive sorts of plants, but if you have this one choking out all the plants on your property, at least make the best of the situation. Pick the fruit, eat it, and uh, have a good time with it. So that's all I have to say about uh, the Barbados gooseberry. Very interesting to get a chance to try another species of this very bizarre genus. So thanks again to Luke for sending this to me, and uh, thank you everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.
I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale. Those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.